you find uh, basically a protein-based diet, you are going to less likely uh, find yourself having cravings, feeling tired, feeling kind of beat up from the day. Welcome to another edition of Smelly's Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be cooking up a Bavette steak. Really simple and easy to do. I like to chop it up, I like to use some scissors. This is a Bavette steak right here. Kabing! This is from Piedmontese, one of my favorite types of steak, just because it's leaner. First thing we're gonna do is cut this bad boy up with some scissors. So I got some tongs, got some scissors. Kabing, like that. You may wanna grab a paper towel or paper towels to kind of dry off your meat, get all the bloody bloodiness off of it, kind of dab it around in there. Burp, 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 burp. It's also really helpful to have the meat get kind of room temperature-ish. So believe it or not, you want to kind of leave the meat out of the fridge for a while. Some of you might think that's gross, but it will help a lot with the cooking process. Back to chopping. I like to chop it up because once we cook it, it's gonna make it a lot easier to get all the seasoning on there and it's gonna cook a little easier as well. So while we're cooking it, it's gonna cook easier if it's chopped up into little bits and pieces. I like to chop the stuff up really small. I've been eating this way, eating meat uh, for decades, eating large amounts of protein and I just try to make it more convenient. So this way, I'm not just sitting there chewing on it all day long. You just chop her up. Takes a little extra time on the front end, but on the back end, it's a lot easier. Now we're gonna throw some seasoning on there. We got this stuff from Hardcore Carnivore. I dig it a lot, so I like to use this quite a bit. The cool thing about steak is that you could just literally just put salt on it. It's usually the best thing that you can do. I eat lots of steak, so sometimes I like to get some different flavors in there. Dig your hands in there. We don't need any oil. We don't need anything in the pan. Uh, just the way it is, is gonna be perfecto. Ready? Three, two, one. <sighs> Crowd goes wild. Doing stuff that's simple, doing stuff that's easy. There's nothing complicated about this. We're just cooking it. I'm cooking it to my liking. You at home cook it to your liking. Remember with Smelly's Kitchen, there are no rules. There's no rules! Let's just start back home. That's the first thing you need to know, is that whatever way you're cooking is for you personally, for your taste buds. Whatever you want to put on this, if you like mustard, if you like uh, different spices, you like red hot sauce, there's no wrong or right way to do any of this. Some people would think it's crazy to do that with steak, but again, all I want to encourage you to do is to try to make it through every single day as best you can without overeating. And the way that we overeat is to combine fat and carbohydrates. That makes it really, really easy to overeat. But when we primarily focus in on protein and nutrient dense foods that primarily have protein and fat in them, they're satiating, it's long lasting, it's stuff that still gives us good energy. It's not gonna give you those dips uh, that you might get throughout the day if you're eating carbs and fats. You're not gonna feel like you're gonna fall asleep after a meal. So I think that this is the way to do it, is to do it with protein. It's called protein leveraging. It's a protein leveraging hypothesis. It is really, really effective. It's something that's made a huge difference for me. And over a period of time, when you continually prioritize protein, and you start to have protein be a larger percentage of your diet, you will lose weight. It is a fact. You can take that one to the bank. The standard American diet is comprised of about 13% of protein, that means that 87% is dedicated to carbohydrates and fat, which is an energy source, and most people are not moving enough to combat the fact that 87% of their diet is from just fats and carbohydrates. Again, there's nothing wrong with fats, there's nothing wrong with carbohydrates necessarily, but when you put the two together, it makes it very easy to overeat. When you convert your diet over and you start eating things like steak, you start eating things like chicken, you find uh, basically a protein-based, a meat-based style diet, you are going to less likely uh, find yourself having cravings, feeling tired, feeling kind of beat up from the day. 
It's something that it's taken me a while to adapt to, but I started doing so years ago. And now it doesn't feel like I'm on a diet any longer. Everything feels easy. Everything feels like it's on cruise control. The meat's looking really good. The color looks really good. Everything's about right, but it's got to cook just a little bit longer. Since we already have cut the steak open, we could check on it a little bit further. Sorry, my fat fingers do not fit in the scissors very well. We cut it open and kind of look at the steak and start to see the center of it. It's looking pretty good. One thing to keep in mind is that <clears throat> when you do pull it off of here, it's going to continue to cook a little bit. So we're done. Done ski. Let's pull it off of there, dump her into the bowl. Don't forget those sound effects. Make sure you get all those droplets of chub out of there. And there we have a Piedmontese steak. Hey, come on. Come here, something for you. It's really tender. Delicious. It's delicious. Okay, mm, have two. When you cut it up, it seasons the whole thing. Really good. Mm. Pretty tasty, Mr. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good job. This is, I think it's like 100 grams of protein. It's about 16 grams of fat. I mean, if this doesn't fill you up, <clears throat> I don't think anything will. But even if it didn't fill you up and you were to eat a second one of these in a row, it still wouldn't be that many calories because there's just not that much fat in here. So when you start to eat protein and fat together, it just makes it that much more difficult for you to overeat. And again, what I'm trying to encourage you to do is to try to make it through every single day without overeating. This is Smelly's Kitchen. Thank you guys for following along. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Catch you guys later.